Hi, this is Gretchen from Simplified Parenting. Encouragement for parents that seek simple solutions. Well, it is spring in the Northern Hemisphere. Hooray! Bird migration season is winding down, but native birds are out, so let's get out too and enjoy them. In this video, I'll share some flannel stories. One Gigi original in the beginning and an old favorite at the end. I'll also cover how to attract birds. Good food versus bad food for birds. Tips on observing birds in nature. I'll share my favorite bird books and the basics of how to draw a bird. Wow, that's a lot. We better get going. Three wiggly worms on a rainy day. They wiggled in they mud and they sang as they played so they didn't see the birds way up high in the tree. And the birds looked down one at a time and said, yum, I'm hungry. So down swooped the bird and took one worm away. And now there's only how many worms left Two. to play? Two wiggly worms on a rainy day. They wiggled in the mud and they sang as they played. So they didn't see the birds way up high in the tree. But the birds looked down and what they say? Yum, I'm hungry. So but down with one bird. And, sw and took one worm away. The, brow the blue one did see it. Okay. And the now there's only how many one? One. How many left? One worm left to play. One wiggly worm on a rainy day. He wiggled in the... What was he wiggling in? Bud. And he sang as he played. And he didn't see the... Way up high in the and the bird looked down and said, Yum, I'm hungry. So down swooped the bird and took that worm away, and now there's none. None. None birds. None birds. I love seeing this sign the other day when Max and I were visiting this pond because it just didn't say, Don't feed the birds. Instead, it explained why bread is not a good option for ducks and gave us options on what to bring the next time we visit. A sure way to get bird visitors is to put out food. Here are a couple really fun bird feeders. Another way of upping your chances of seeing birds near your home is by having places for them to build a home. My friend from Arizona sent me this picture of these baby quail chicks that had hatched in a planter that's in her backyard. This planter is very tall and the plant is very bushy. So the parents felt comfortable laying their eggs there and raising their chicks even though there are dogs in the home. In the next video, you'll see some baby chicks that hatched in a hanging planter that was at my daughter's house in Georgia. When observing birds out in nature, you wanna be really quiet and still because that makes them comfortable and then they'll do their natural behaviors. My biggest suggestion is to be outside, outside, outside. The more you're outside, the more you're gonna see. She's preening. I don't know. She's preening or she's being 
<laughs> oh my gosh. These are great books to pick up at the library. I wish I knew who to give credit for for creating this slide because it's a perfect visual and the points are well made. Don't forget the importance of listening to children and meeting them where they are. So if you have a child that comes to you and asks, how do you draw a penguin? I want to draw a penguin. Then this is what I would do. I would sit down beside them and, and assuming that we're drawing the penguin in the slide, I would say, well, let's look at the shapes, the basic shapes. So then we're encouraging children to observe, to break things down into shapes and to put them in proportion. Okay, by looking at that adult penguin, I am seeing that its body is the shape of an egg. So I'm gonna draw an egg. And then I'm gonna draw a circle over here beside it for the head. I have it placed there because I'm having it be a daddy that's gonna be looking down at the egg that I'm gonna put on his feet. There's its beak, which is like a V, a triangle. Now I did a little bit of research and I would have said this was a flipper, but this is still a wing, it is a bird. So I'm gonna make a U-shaped wing. And then the feet are webbed and there's three toes, so one, two, three toes. So now I'm going to draw another egg shape on his toes. And again, we're doing research. We're looking things up together and we're discussing shapes and proportions and using vocabulary and giving them that sense of being able to draw what they want to draw and then they can enjoy doing all the details. Three little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, what'd she say? Quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack, quack. And only two little ducks came back. Heavens went back to mama. Uh-oh, where'd this guy go? He's like swimming over this way. Okay, sit on up so our friends hey, you did get so our friends can see. Okay. Okay, little ducks. Your brother didn't come back. I want you to be listeners. Let's go over the hills and far away. Two little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother Duck said, quack, 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 quack. She's serious this time. Yeah. And only one little duck came back. Thank you for being a listener. Your brother and sister are not going to get any special duck food tonight. Okay. Only him. Only him. We'll get then duck food. Own special duck food. Okay, let's see if this if this one's a listener this the next day. Yeah. One little duck went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said Quack 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 He's very lazy. Okay, say it again. She's so angry. Oh, we better get going. Here I come, Mama. Here I come, Mama. And all the little ducks came back. <laughs> She's so proud. She's proud. Finally, they listened. If this video will encourage you and your family 
to go out and enjoy birds and nature overall, then to God be the glory. I'll be praying for you, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.